It's Creech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pan hi-hats in FL Studio 20. Uh, this process is virtually the same for uh, 12 and I imagine 11, um, in case you have older versions. Uh, so essentially, you have a few options to do this. I have a basic hi-hat pattern here. Uh, so you, on the channel rack, you have these two knobs. This one's for volume, and this one's for panning. Uh, if you ever have any questions about things, you can see it up in this hint panel here. So if I go over that, it tells me that's for channel panning. So if you want to pan uh, like the whole pattern just entirely to the right, so here's here's here it is normally. So if you want to say oh, let's go all the way to the right, uh, and obviously if you're not wearing uh, headphones, you can't hear the difference uh, as a disclaimer there. But if you want them to be kind of different. Uh, that's where a few options here so uh, if you do this little drop down you can go over to channel controls and then channel panning and um, essentially that will uh, let's see if I think I can do it by yeah yeah no pan here this this is always why I would recommend uh, this is really annoying to work with this is what I was planning on doing so let's see this stutter here I kind of want to I can just, and I'm just holding down the, the uh, left click there. Uh, I don't know, that might sound kind of bad, but I'll just hear what that sounds like. So it kind of gives it that effect there. Um, and then really another way you can do that, so obviously you can take that wherever you want uh, and pan them however you like. Uh, but another way you can do it is to put it in the playlist Go over to here, or within the the mixer, you have to make sure that this is uh, routed, and then you can uh, no, you can't from here. Uh, but you can also uh, so from here you can. I was thinking volume. My bad. You can uh, right click on that and then create uh, click create automation clip. Um, and then this is the automation clip if you don't know what this is this is kind of what that looks like you select these nodes here uh, which can be added by left clicking so I can do I don't know random shit like that I'll pull that one down uh, something like that or whatever and go to song mode now I can hear that So whatever, that sounds kind of bad, but, um, and this is a really neat thing to, to know. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. So if you go to, um, first you have to, if I just play around with the, the panning or whatever, move it and then I can right click on it, click reset and go over here to tools, last tweaked, and here it'll tell you the last week thing. So it was hat six channel panning, which is correct. That's what I wanted to do and go create automation clip. What that way will allow you to do is automate any control. And that's just the same thing as before. Um, and so yeah, that's it. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, so uh, I, hope, uh, I hope this was helpful uh, no matter what uh, you know level you're at with this. Uh, if it was, please consider uh, giving me a like. And if you have any more, uh, if you have questions or tutorials you would like me to do, uh, please leave them in the comments. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.